Well, our field of expertise is basically in replenishing and helping to recorrect hormone imbalances in both males and females. And we've worked closely with Dr. Nick Delgado and helping Dr. Delgado with his protocol for better well-being and utilizing our bioidentical hormones, which I will go into shortly, and how to enhance someone's well-being, whether it be female or male. Maybe let me just define the general term that we use, bioidentical hormones, which is just a fancy word for simply a hormone that comes from an all-natural source. We typically use, uh, in the Delgado protocol, is the uh, source derivative is from yams, because we find that to have low allergies with people, as opposed to soy, which has a higher um, allergy uh, ratio with the general population. Uh, both men and women suffer from diminishing hormone levels as they age. And we know that with age comes an increase in the incidence of diseases and uh, not feeling quite yourself. And we find that as your hormones start to, to de uh, diminish, your, uh, the incidence of disease and the overall feeling of well-being starts to slow down. So what we've devised is we've figured out exactly about the period of time when men start to feel this way and when women start to feel this way and what kind of symptomology that they face that they may not even be aware that they're hormone deprived. So in males oftentimes we see after the age of 35 they start to lose one to two percent of their overall testosterone levels and because it's such a slow and decrease uh, a gradual decline in levels oftentimes we're not even aware that we're testosterone deficient. So some of the symptoms that we find as males as we get older and that I have found in myself and I'll talk about that, which is, you know, you're slowing in your metabolism, a change in your focus, a change in your energy level, an inability to bounce back the way you used to or wake up as early, a decrease in your libido levels, your desire for success changes a little bit, your, your driven goals change a little bit because you have a lack of energy, an overall energy. So with hormone replacement therapy using the Delgado protocol, we use all natural replacements and we help based upon your blood levels because we do everything in a very scientific and medical way. We first evaluate your, your blood levels, making sure how de deficient you are and how much we're actually going to replenish. Our goal is not to bring it to super physiological levels. Our goal is simply to bring it to when you were in your early 30s and to feel great again. So we use your blood levels combined with your clinical symptoms to derive a customized form for your hormone replacement therapy. And most of the time we find that within 72 hours men start to feel fantastic again and it's changed people's lives. And the same thing happens with women. As women age, um, they find that they have a much faster decline in hormone levels as they enter perimenopause. And all of a sudden one day they wake up and their periods are gone or their periods become erratic or they start feeling hot flashes, their libido goes down, their skin changes, they feel more wrinkling, their hair dries, or they feel like they're all of a sudden starting to lose hair, or they have more vaginal dryness, or they don't feel as intimate with their husbands. So although some of these things can be multifactorial, most of it can be dependent upon hormones. So once again, in conjunction with the Dr. Nick Delgado protocol, we devise the same kind of system as in males. We measure your blood levels, Based on your clinical symptoms and your blood laboratory work, we customize uh, hormones made just for you. And we find extreme success in both men and women with hormone replacement therapy. As far as bioidentical hormones, the big question always comes into play for people is, well, how come it's not insurance covered? Or why hasn't it been around for a long time? But the truth is it's been around forever. The actual term bioidentical means it's naturally derived from a natural source. In the late 1800s in the United States, we, patent, we passed laws that prohibited um, patenting of natural materials. Therefore, pharmaceutical companies really could make no money off of this because it's accessible to anybody in any patent. So the term actual bioidentical maybe is a newer terminology defining a system that's been around forever. As far as our delivery method of choice, the pellet, the pellet's been around since the 1950s, mostly utilized in Europe, England especially and some other countries around the world. You can never stop the aging process, but it makes you age gracefully, which is, I think, a different way of looking at it. Um, and this brings me back to Dr. Delgado's book, which is um, Strong Joints Forever, um, which incorporates a lot of the, th the, the theories behind hormone replacement therapy and decreased incidence of disease or tissue trauma or joint trauma 
and um, really hormones and overall well and good health actually go hand in hand. So it's not surprising that we find so much good data on good hormone replacement therapy and healthy living. So one of the things we have found after years of using hormone replacement therapy, and which is actually a very logical way of looking at it, is everybody's hormone converts because based on the amount of double bonds, if you remember from chemistry, between one element and another, we have found that sometimes it's a little hard to control even bioidentical conversions from happening. So let's say in a man I'm giving testosterone. And let's say you enjoy having a few beers a day. Well, unfortunately, the alcohol sometimes in this particular example actually will convert some of that testosterone that I'm replenishing into other things like estrogen, which is things we don't necessarily want in a man. So using the Dr. Neil Delgado protocol and his special supplements, we've actually been able to formulate certain compounds that actually prevent transformation of certain hormones into others that we're not necessarily looking for those kind of effects. So we can actually limit the amount of conversion into estrogen, for example, from testosterone derivatives and have found much better yields by using certain supplements that Dr. Nick Delgado himself has devised in order to enhance and better the hormones that we use.